What's happening people? This is Token for Token Let's Plays. Now as you may guess this is indeed a post commentary recording. Um or post recording commentary because well my thing decided to act up and not record my audio, so I'm doing this again. Um yeah, but I mean in this part um a few things went wrong. Uh first off it didn't record me doing a few bits and bobs which I find heavily irritating. And in the last part, which is what I want to talk about the most, which, unfortunately, I got a new computer, sort of a higher spec, and for some reason my computer decided to go, no, we're not accepting your previous hard drive. So I lost, um, apart from my game save data, which I put on a um, memory card, thank God, um, I've lost the previous recording, um, to the pre um, well, I lost the recording to the previous part, which I find very annoying. But I can pretty much tell you exactly what happened. As you can probably tell by the screen you're looking at now, I got my ass handed to me. Um, but I've put in David, Chris, Alex, um, Vicky, and Andrew um, as replacements. Um, only Kaylee survived at like, I think it was about uh, 30, 40 HP. And she managed to take out the final Pokemon. Which I thought was, you know, rather good because considering like all the shit she had been put through previously, um, being able to get that win was just awesome and kudos to Kaylee. She has literally done nothing but serve me well since the day I caught her as a Growlithe. And I must say, I like she's my she's my she's my lady now. She's truly my lady. Um I mean, she's never been a better Pokemon. Um, but yeah, I'm rambling on a little bit now about Kaylee. But, I mean, in this one, we're going to go take on Sabrina. I've bought some more bits and pieces for the thing. Um, like right now, I'm deciding which Pokemon to switch out into first. But it's, um, I realised I switch out into Gloom in this bit, but then I realised that's a huge mistake against Psychic type, so... And I'm, for some reason, I haven't played this game in ages, but I remember the route there rather easily. So, I mean, yeah, that wasn't too bad. I do hit the turbo quite a bit in this battle, I think. Um, I can't remember, so I do apologise if I do so. But, you know, shit happens. Might as well have me a fag while I'm doing this. But, yeah, I mean, here we go with the battle versus Sabrina. Um, it's now about to kick off. She's wearing a very kinky outfit. She's got a whip. Uh, are you trying to suggest something? Are you? But either way, yeah. We bring out. Oh, she brings out Mr. Mime, and out comes Alex. Now, I mean, I've, I've tried to see what Alex is capable of in this match, but you know, I don't seem to remember that um, grass types, um, such as Mr. Mime. I'm sorry about the creaking. My chair likes it. Um, my chair's going a bit odd. Might have to get a new one. Um, but. Uh, um, I realise he doesn't really do that much, and I can't do Jack against this Gengar. I really can't. I mean, it puts me to sleep all the time. It almost knocks me out of a psychic. So this is the point where I go, yeah, fuck that. I'm switching out. So, uh, which Pokemon do I actually go into on this part? I can't honestly remember. I only recorded it a few minutes ago, and I can't remember. Oh, well, I go into slacking, and I realise this once again is a huge error on my part because. Well, obviously, I, I seem to be... Well, my match theory is absolutely useless. I can't do anything, really, when it comes to Pokemon. My whole tactic is going guns blazing. But for some reason, with um, this, I managed to actually... Well, I made the stupid mistake of trying to heal up slacking repeatedly. But, I mean, it's... Um, I, after I realised, hold on, it's taken over half my health each time. My match theories bollocks. I mean, I use about six to eight hyper potions on this guy, so yeah, it's pretty much useless what I'm doing. It's kind of like the Borg from Star Trek Voyager. Resistance is futile. So I eventually figure out what the hell I'm doing wrong, considering I had a chance to attack and he decides to take that away from me. But I, for some reason, I don't know why what I was doing. I don't know what I was thinking in hindsight, but I just kept going for it, and then eventually when he hits this point, I'm thinking, right, he's not going to survive, so let him die with some dignity. And the Ice Punch knocks him out, so that's number one off my list. Well, one Pokemon off my list so far. Then I bring out Kaylee, um, to hit this guy with some attacks. 
So that's just, oh, well, using flamethrower. Um, for some reason, the hypnosis misses. And Kaylee's speed, as I've mentioned before, is amazingly fast. So she usually always gets the first hit and takes Gengar right down and in the, eliminates his ability to use substitute, which I think is absolutely brilliant. And yeah, a couple of flamethrowers knock out this Gengar cold. So that's good. I mean, it gets rid of the stuff for me and well it helps along the battle a little bit. I've already lost one Pokemon so you know really didn't want to lose any others. Um and then bring up Mr. Mime. Now my experience with this Mr. Mime is that he doesn't seem to want to do anything useful with his time in on this earth before I kill him. Um he always uses calm minds. I mean I've like I've played through this game quite a while ago and by what I can remember he always used Calm Mind. I never once saw him use something else apart from maybe Light Screen but that was about it. So I think that's pretty much stupid. So Kaylee kills off Mr. Mime which I think is brilliant. And then brings out the Gardevoir. Now the Gardevoir I believe if I remember him correctly is one I had difficulty with because well it's fucking Gardevoir and I don't like Gardevoir. Um, but I mean I'm well, I managed to do some decent damage to it. It gets its wish, which I find this stream. Ooh, bloody hell. Um, I've got a notification that's just popped up telling me one of my hard disks is about to die. So I'm going to have to replace that soon. Typical. But, yeah, I'll take. Um, well, I'll deal with that later. But, yeah, I mean, Kaylee does her job. She keeps, you know, beating into this guy repeatedly. Um, like, hyper potion her up a few times. Um, well, I, don't, I guess I didn't spend as many hyper potions as I initially thought, so we finally, I finally decided to use my common sense and just go with flamethrower, which actually causes the burn, which I like because it now deals the extra bit of damage I need to win. And, well, his wish came true on this part, which I find is irritating, but like I said, the flamethrower is now doing its job, so I heal up Kaylee in order to make sure that she survives another blast, which she almost doesn't. This is the point where I just keep, you know, stalling for days with the hyper potions and shit like that. But yeah, I mean, Kaylee pulls through on this bit, which I, which I do appreciate. She really does pull through. And yeah, we managed to defeat the guard of while um, Kaylee surviving on 44 HP, which is, you know, close, too close for my liking. And then um, he brings out this Espeon. Now I'm found a bit difficult what move to make on this one so I thought you know doing a good amount of damage and missing an attack is better than anything else so I decided to just keep bouncing and stuff like that and then he switches out for the bloody um, Jinx and with his bloody psycho boost or psych boost whatever you want to call it it almost wipes me out I say I've already lost two Pokemon here, but it's only going to get worse during this entire lot because now um, Vicky's dead. I bring out Chris to try and do some extra bit of damage. Use extra Sentry, which I think is a huge mistake. I should have flown. I know I should have flown now. Um, you know, just keep missing the attacks and get him to kill him faster. But um, this Alakazam, this fucker, this is the one that annoys me because. Like I manage to fly up, I do a good amount of damage, but he outspeeds me, which is irritating as sin. And at this point, my heart's beginning to pound, because I've got two Pokemon with under 50 HP remaining. Well, one Pokemon now with under 50 HP remaining, and I'm beginning to shit myself. So I use Hyper Potion to heal up Kaylee, hoping to God that it can survive a bit more. But after this, I realise it's all or nothing, so I go in for the Flamethrower and I smack it one. And once again, it's an all or nothing situation. So I use Flamethrower, knock it out, and I've just managed to win. Now, imagine this, but with about 30 less HP. And that is the exact result of what happened against Giovanni. It really got irritating. So we got the Marsh Badge. I forgot to put it up in the overlay, so I'll, put it, I'll make sure it's up there for the next episode. But, yeah, we managed to do it this time, so... You know, we got clear, and I just try to remember my way out of the bloody thing now, because it's irritating a sin. My graveyard's almost full up. I'm going to have to cut and copy from the top to the bottom, and, you know, ma uh, make a... Well, makes room for new Pokemon in case any get knocked out.
But, yeah, once I figure out where the hell I'm going, right, there we go, yep, I'm back. And, yeah, obviously this is the point where I run off. And I may, I will run to the Pokemon Center. And this is where I'm going to be getting my um, next set of Pokemon. So, yeah, here's where I've just selected the Pokemon. And here they are. Um, the Pokemon I have selected are Annie. Um, Tyrogue, which I collected in the previous episode, um, I collected in the previous episode, and Stuart, which I collected in this episode. Um, Erica and Max. So I've now got a full set of Pokemon back. I'm obviously gonna have to raise these guys up to about level 57, 58, just to make sure you know they're up to the challenge. But as soon as I've done that, then it's all good. I've you know, I've managed to um, survive it. I haven't lost all my Pokemon yet. I've got about five Pokemon remaining in the box. But, yeah, that will pretty much be it for this episode. Um, I would like to thank you all for your continued support. You guys are absolutely amazing. Um, I would like to also ask if you could hit the subscribe button. Um, hit the like button as well. Give this channel a little bit of support. I will be continuing to record more regularly now, hopefully one video a day, and until then, I'll see you later.